everybody. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can teach your dog to wave both of his paws like little Epic is doing here. So some dogs find it easier than others. And if your dog already knows to sit pretty, it's going to be easier because they've already built the mu mu muscles to sit up uh, so that they can then wave their paws. So there are many ways that you could do it. You could either do targeting of both paws where the dog puts both paws on your arm like that, or you could do one paw and then the other. And I have a video on how to train your dog to offer one paw and then the other. And that's the way that I'm gonna show you how to do it in this tutorial. Now with Epic here, when I first got her at eight weeks, she was already offering this behavior when she wanted something like to go out the door um, or to get a treat. And I actually didn't uh, reinforce it. Instead, I built it from scratch so she wouldn't just offer it all the time. So that's one of the downfalls of if you mark a behavior that the dog does without putting a cue on it fast enough, sometimes they can offer it um, thinking that that's what you want them to do if they want to ask for a treat. So um, I, I want her to sit calmly and then offer the behavior when I do this with my two fingers and I'm gonna call it celebrate. Ready? Celebrate. Good. So I'm gonna show you how I'm training Halo to do it. So we've had a couple of training sessions and you will see him progress, hopefully. So I like to have the dog on a mat like this to do the exercise to keep them in place, but there's no need. You could have just the dog on a non-slip surface, but this surface is actually less slippery than this carpet. So it's a nice surface for balancing. I first warmed up by getting Halo to offer his left paw and his right paw on cue. Wave, good. Bye, good. Wave, good. Wave, good. And then, good. I worked on teaching him to wave without touching my hand because the trick where he uses both paws, he's not gonna touch my hand. So waving with the left paw and waving with the right paw. So this is wave, good, and bye, good. And if he creeps forwards a little like that, I can just lure him back onto the object and get him to sit. That's why I have this object because when he uses his feet specifically, he comes closer and closer in a very excited way. I then also worked on getting him to sit pretty. So you can teach that first. And I have a tutor tutorial on how to teach sit pretty in the description below. Halo sit pretty, good. The next thing I did was ask him to do sit pretty and then I said wave and bye and gave him the hand signals for both of his feet. And then any sort of paw movement I would mark and reinforce. Sit pretty, wave and bye, good. Now if you don't want your sit pretty to turn into something where they always wave and bye, you can also just ask for sit pretty and then mark and reinforce. And sometimes I'll go back to using luring when training a new behavior so that the dog isn't going to be offering things in between. So I could say sit pretty and lure him into the behavior, good. And now I'm gonna ask for the different paws. Are you ready? Sit pretty, wave and bye, good. Good job. Sit pretty, wave and bye. Good. Wave and bye. Good. Now, if he gets up and waves and, and waves the paws, I'm gonna mark, but then I'm gonna ask him to sit again and mark and reinforce him for sitting pretty so that he's getting used to the concept that it's about sitting pretty and moving his feet. Sit pretty, wave and bye. Good, and I can hold my hands down lower too if that is encouraging to him to get up if I have my hands up here. Ready, wave and bye. Good, sit pretty, wave and bye. Good, sit pretty, wave and bye. If you wanted to add a new cue so that you don't have to say the two cues back to back, uh, you say that just before you say the old cue. So I'm gonna say celebrate and then I'm gonna do the hand signals and see if he gets it. If not, I'm gonna use my old verbal cue. Sit pretty, celebrate, good. Sit pretty, celebrate, good. The other way that you can teach this is teaching your dog to sit pretty and do a high 10 with both of his paws 
And then what you're going to do is ask for high 10, but hold your paws, your hands just out of reach so your dog can't reach them. And that can initiate the waving behavior. So you're going to mark the millisecond the dog is reaching up for your hands and not touching them. Sit pretty. S celebrate. Good. Can you cover your nose? Good. Cover your nose. Good. Sit pretty. Be cool. OK. Sit pretty. Be cool. OK. Sit pretty, be cool. OK. Sit pretty, be cool. OK. Sit pretty, be cool. Good. Thank you so much for watching. If you'd like to support my work, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. You can also become a supporting member of channel Kiko Pup by clicking the join button. See you later.